Congratulations, PSA. You've really done it. From now on on this channel, I will use this light to indicate how positive or negative the video will be. That way, if you think, oh, I don't want to hear positive stuff. I only want to hear negative stuff. You can click on the red videos. Oh, I only want to hear the positive. I never want to hear anything negative. You just click on the green videos. A few weeks ago, or is it just a few days ago? I don't remember. I covered how PSA started differentiating between different prints of Unlim within Yu-Gi-Oh. Unlimited LOB, Unlimited MRD, Unlimited IOC has been reprinted in modern years into the ground. So when you are buying a Unlimited card from LOB, MRD and so forth, 99% of the time you are getting a modern Walmart reprint, not a old Yu-Gi-Oh card. Now there are differences between these new cards and the old ones. And so for the longest time, PSA didn't differentiate. You bought a Unlim, it always said 2002, 2003 and so forth. However, then they showed us the first few cards where they started differentiating and we got excited. They're gonna differentiate. Now, of course, I still cautioned people. I still said, hey, we still have this massive backlog, this population of wrongly labeled stuff. How are we gonna deal with that? There's still risk, this and that. And today we have once again shown beautiful confirmation that there is risk because we just saw maybe the first properly labeled Blue Eyes White Dragon. Look, 2017, 2010, it has a reprint label. We now have properly labeled reprints, but it's an unlim from 2002. This card, check out a little, little, little dot right here. Check out, just check out every little detail. Go back to this channel, check out the wavy versus glossy video with Gezi. This is a 2002, 2003, whatever, a unlimited LOB card. This is not a reprint, but it is labeled as a reprint. I don't know if this is the first, it might be one of the first reprint labeled cards and it's mislabeled. So PSA starts differentiating and the first thing they do is mess up. Wow, wow, wow. So yeah, not only do we have to deal with a bunch of cards, unlim cards that are already mislabeled, you know, S2002, despite a lot of them being modern and people paying ridiculous prices on eBay for these graded. Now, we also have to deal with wrongly labeled reprints and maybe vice versa. And maybe people start saying, oh, but this Unlim, this Unlim is a vintage Unlim. Cause look, it says 2002 and it's new cert, but new cert doesn't even matter when they clearly still mislabel. We all saw the potential of this happening. However, we don't want to be cynical, cynicism is basically the one way to get fucked in life no matter what. That's the news. That's why this video is a beautiful red. If the market ever turns, it will also be a beautiful red. That will be exciting. I think that's, I think that's pretty smart branding. Every, every video where we have like, oof, something's going wrong. Red light. Wait, no, 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 no. So what is the solution? Because we do want to be positive sometimes, right? The solution goes back to what I've been saying. Buy first dead. And I know that sucks. It's more expensive. Yes, buy first dead. You don't have all the risk. Of course, there is still risk in any volatile market, but you don't have the same levels of risk that you are exposing yourself to. And sure, maybe the 10s are too expensive, that's fine. An Unlim 10, that's actually a modern reprint, is still garbage. Maybe even the nine is too expensive, fine, then go for the eight, go for the raw and so forth. You can still collect these cards and sure, It'll get riskier the lower grade you go. Absolutely. But I don't think it will get as risky as whatever cluster of fuck you have to deal with right now if you collect Unlim. Now, of course, if you are purely collecting and you're like, finance, fuck, I just want these pretty cards in my binder. I want to look at them. Go ahead. Again, that's fine. This is not talking shit on people who want to collect Unlim. This is talking shit on people who want to invest or speculate in Unlim for the longer term. Right now, everything's still going up. You can still throw your money at literally everything and it all go up, 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 except for Serpent Night Dragon. I love that card, by the way, but if you bought at the peak, you've only gone down, 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 down. But regardless, everything else has just been up, 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 up. So it didn't, didn't matter. You know, you could make all the wrong choices and still make money. Same shit in the stock market right now, or at least until maybe January. Now it's been a bit more wobbly. But when markets turn, I don't, I don't want to be caught with my pants down with Unlim, especially since the labeling has clearly not been worked out. And that is, you know, that's not weird. It's not like a PSA grader is some Einstein pro level thing. Like these are people 
that you know they're just entry level employees being taught how to do this stuff and they'll get it wrong sometimes that's the subjectivity of a grader they're also in california like good luck getting employees at low wages in california like think about that because these people aren't making millions these aren't the greatest conditions for graders and so yeah they'll get it wrong sometimes and now they got it wrong and that's just a bad look when you're trying to differentiate between prints on condition you can still look at a card and go oh looks mint but when the whole point of differentiating is teaching newbies hey this is the difference and now these newbies can't even like trust that label wow i know they already couldn't on asian english but at least you can just turn it around and see same thing with ultimate rares. You can just look. Is this 3D? Oh, it's an ulti. Oops, wrong label. Not so much with the Unlim. Again, you can check out all the PDFs and, and know about the difference in, in colors and, and difference in the text and all these little things. Sure, but that's not the type of baggage you want to start off with. So yeah, I'm still on the first set or bus train. If I think the nines are too expensive for a card I want, like I bought a Gaia PSA 8 the other day, I felt fine with that. I'm not a huge Gaia fan. I didn't want a Gaia and now I have one. I didn't pay as much and I'm more at risk of this pop exploding, but that's fine. I wanted the card. And I will take an 8 first edition Gaia over an Unlim 10 Gaia any day of the week. That is all. Hope you found it interesting. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you soon. Ciao.